afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Cecile Stelter. I'm the public information officer for Warren County for this incident. The search for inmate Michael Byrne has continued through this afternoon. Additional resources have been brought in and we appreciate the cooperation between all federal, state, and local resources, including those in New York State and Pennsylvania. We also appreciate all the tips and calls from the public. At this time, we are asking local residents to check their home cameras and doorbell cameras during the time frame of 11.30 to 12.30 last night into this morning and see if they ha see anything suspicious. If they do see something, we ask them to call 716-483-8477. Let me repeat that, 716-483-8477. Leave a message and your call will be returned. We also appreciate the media for getting this information out to the public. People are reminded that this gentleman is very, very dangerous and they should report any unusual situations or things out of the ordinary to the law enforcement officials by calling 911. Since this individual still is at large, we remind the public to be vigilant and uh, be aware of their surroundings. With me this evening is Captain Jeff Doherty, and we will open. We will now open this up for questions. Captain, what's been going on over the last, at this point, about 18 hours? Take us through how you go about trying to find the escape and no always good at opening captain. Yeah, I apologize. There's a motorcycle going by, so I'll try to answer your question from what I heard. At this point, what we're doing is we're trying to gather as much information and we are trying to utilize the resources that have been given to us to find Michael Burham. Um, it is an active investigation. Our number one priority at this point is to make sure that the public is safe and that we bring Mr. Burham in uh, and we apprehend him in custody. What is the plan? It's going to get dark sooner uh, or eventually tonight. What is the plan once it does become night? Will you continue the, your search? Yes, ma'am. We are going to continue the search through the night. What's the search radius? As of right now, there is no particular search radius. We do not know where he is at. How much more difficult does this become when it's someone who you know is exceptionally good at avoiding and we have now learned an escaping capture? Well, that's what we're trying to uh, do with our investigation is we're trying to utilize previous interviews. We're trying to utilize uh, law enforcement uh, like Cecilia Stead, uh, local, federal, and state resources uh, to try to attempt to locate Mr. Burham. Uh, no, ma'am. Are there any checkpoints, closed roads at this point? We didn't see anything coming in from Buffalo. There were checkpoints set up, but I believe they have been shut down. Why were they shut down? I can't answer that. Is it believed he left on foot? Is it believed that he is still in this general area, especially with the woods near us? That is not known. I can tell you at this time we have been uh, actively searching the local area. We've been checking for additional cameras. Um, we have been setting up numerous interviews with people. So again, as I stated before, we don't know where he is at right now. Ballpark for us, how many agencies, how many people are involved in this effort? There are numerous agencies. There are numerous local, federal, and state agencies. Um, we are receiving a ton of uh, assistance, and, and we're grateful for that cooperation between these agencies. Cecile said earlier that you guys are needing information during when you had him in custody. How crucial is that information to help you locate him? Well, during any investigation, like I stated before, we're, we're trying to gather any resource we have, and those, those prior interviews, uh, they, they are extremely helpful. As she stated before, he is a survivalist. Um, he has been known to uh, do these things in the past, be able to survive out there. That's why it's extremely important for us to ask the public uh, if they know anything, if they see anything, if there's any camera footage out there, please let us know. We are following up on all tips that are coming in and we are asking the public for assistance. In your approximation, one to 10, what's the level of threat to the average resident here in one? I can't answer that. Yes, obviously Warren County is very mountainous terrain, along with uh, there are set, there's the Allegheny River, there's a the Conewango Creek. Uh, it's it's rural. We're in a rural community, so that that itself is 
something that we are, um, you know, that we have to deal with. But again, when we start tapping out to other resources uh, with the, the local, federal, and state government, that helps us with, with to bridge that gap. How yeah. often do you think there's any chance that any family members or friends could possibly try to harbor him or are you looking at that possibility? I can't make that assumption. How is he able to gather the materials to escape? Uh, that's, that's an active investigation. We're looking into that currently. Do you have any suspicions as to where it might go next? Nope. Are you guys in touch with the uh, sheriff's office in South Carolina? I know that they're kind of preparing on their end if he ends up going back there. Yes, ma'am, we are. We have been uh, contacted by them, and we have their information. Have you found the bed sheets and exercise equipment that he used to escape? We have, uh, like I said, this is an investigation. We have evidence in our custody. Can you repeat the timeline that people need to check on the ring doorbell cameras just so people watching this know? Sure. So approximately from 11.30 p.m. last night. So from approximately 11.30 p.m. last night to about 12, 12.30 a.m. this morning. Uh, but I would also um, extend that to people who have perhaps have game cams um, out in the woods. They maybe want to check those as well. Um, should he have gotten out of the area and into some of the woods? A lot of hunters. So really, uh, the law enforcement are relying on help from the public, any tips that they can get, and any leads. So that is very much appreciated if people just um, check those those resources. And again, um, we have over 10 to 12, at a minimum, different agencies and resources bringing their expertise and their guide, their uh, experience and their knowledge in to help with this situation. We're very grateful. We're very grateful to the public. But again, the thing that we are trying to reiterate is this person is dangerous. We would ask the public, please take this seriously and please use care. Do not approach him and please call 911 with any suspicious circumstances. How many physical law enforcement agents are actually on, on the ground for this case? I, uh, it's, it's a fluid situation because people, some people were on last night and they continued to work earlier. They had to um, leave and get some rest. Other people have been brought in to replace. So that, that number is it's constant, is a very fluid number. But um, there's a lot of very good cooperation and communication among all the law enforcement entities involved. Have you heard your team close to you five hours ago? Do you feel like you're yes, closer to that than you were five hours ago? I apologize, I didn't hear the question. You feel, we heard from last room from you at noon, it's now five o'clock. Do you feel that in that five hours you got any closer? Uh, I can't answer that. Like, like I stated before, we are following up on the information that we receive. Um, we are trying to uh, just keep the public informed as much as possible and to keep you folks informed as much as possible. As Cecilia said, uh, the, the goal here is to make sure the public is safe um, and getting that information out. And the other thing is, is to bring Michael Burham uh, into custody. So we appreciate the media being here and, and the cooperation. If anything new comes up, if there's any kind of uh, public safety information that we receive, we will let you know. Why were they in a rec area at 11.30 at night? I can't answer that. Uh, that would be a question for uh, jail staff. Do you anticipate the, the staffing level? I know you say it's fluid. Do you anticipate it staying kind of on par as today for the weekend or? Uh, depending on where the investigation goes, I could say that it would stay on par. Uh, as we've stated before in the past, we have uh, local, federal, and state agencies assisting with us. We've had a, a ton of support being offered to us. We're very grateful for that, um, and we are working through staffing issues as of now. Do you know if anyone's being held accountable for his escape, or is there any internal investigation going on inside of the jail? No, I, I cannot answer that. Right now, I, I can tell you that all available resources are concentrating on the apprehension of, of, of Michael. So that is, that is the key point right now. The rest of this will come at a later date, I'm sure. Could you just clarify how long it took for the search for Mr. Burham to start? Uh, I believe earlier you said it was immediately due to- it, it, was, it was literally minutes, it was, yes, so. Which, which federal agencies and specific support can you provide any details on for, for the manhunter? What federal agencies, what support, helicopters, bloodhounds, things like that, can you get in any details? All, all of what you just said, um, so ground resources, foot, um, canine, 
and motorized which would be a t v u t v and then aerial resources which include drones and aircraft no we won't know sir we want the public to be vigilant and we want them to be aware of this as we stated this is a very dangerous person um, I would not say it's business as usual. We want people to give us information so that we can follow up on that. Um, I can't make it any more clear. The public is our, our number one priority at this point to make sure the public is safe and, and we need their assistance. Any reason folks should be altering their weekend plans or does it just rise to that level? Um, I can't answer that. I can't tell them what to do at this point. We're just asking for their assistance. Is the search still within the boundaries of the county or uh, Cecile said earlier that it had expanded out of the city. Uh, expanded out of the county. Yes, we have extended the, the search out of the county. If we receive tip information from outside the county, outside the state, we will follow up on it. You mentioned it's, you know, this isn't business as usual, but we're not seeing you know, police at intersections. You know, we saw some foot patrol earlier, but we're, you're not seeing kind of that seriousness on the streets yet. Why? Uh, yes, that was all throughout the day, all throughout the night when this first started happening. Uh, this entire area was saturated with law enforcement. Um, as of right now, like I said, this is an investigation. We are following up with tips that come in. So although you're not seeing them here right now, they are out following up with the information that we receive. Is jail staff doing anything to prevent this from happening in the future? I can't answer that. All right, thank you very much. We Jeff, appreciate your identify time. Identify yourself early. Yes, it's uh, Captain Jeff Doherty, D-O-U-G-H-E-R-T-Y with the City of Warren Police Department. Okay, for the media, uh, this will be the last in-person because of, of the situation that's developing and, and the resources. This will be the last in-person. All future updates will be uh, provided electronically. So make sure I have your email before you leave. Thank you both Bye. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.